Hey, how's it going? Yeah, this is another little clip of the Young Turks. And these guys, you know, let's face it, they don't have a clue. It's just amazing. Anyways, they've got this idea that uh, the Tea Party is out of line because the Tea Party, whoever they are, some cloud group, uh, is protesting at Ebony Magazine. So I wanted to share a little bit of this clip with you because I think it's pretty funny, sort of interesting, and we'll talk about it. Uh, happening between Ebony Magazine and the Tea Party. Um, now, Ebony Magazine wouldn't be the type of magazine that the Tea Party would read anyway, but the Tea Party was particularly upset because they featured Trayvon Martin-inspired covers in the month of September. Ebony had four different covers, and each one had different celebrities posing in hoodies, and of course they did this to honor Trayvon Martin, and it was their way of kind of protesting against the George Zimmerman verdict. Of course, he was acquitted of manslaughter charges. So they're wondering why it is that the Tea Party or anybody would be, you know, have some sort of problem with the fact that Ebony Magazine is protesting a verdict, a proper verdict. Um, now, Ebony Magazine doesn't seem too concerned about losing the Tea Party's readership because that readership never existed. In fact, they tweeted the following, We have so many Tea Party readers and followers, to lose all zero of them due to our September cover would be devastating. That's one of the best tweets I've ever seen. Well, well done, well done. Mm -hmm. So now they had people like Spike Lee and others on with their sons. Uh, with Dwayne Wade. Yeah, and the, and the sons had uh, the hoodie son, mm -hmm. right? So I think it was super interesting, and I think it made an interesting point, uh, and I think that it looked good, and um, I'm amused at the Tea Party, which was supposed to be about the bank bailouts, although it never was, right? Remember, that's why they got started, but they never protested the banks, never protested. Uh, I think he got that wrong. He's really got that backwards. It wasn't the Tea Party that was protesting the banks. They were protesting the taxes. Remember, taxed enough already? Tea? It's like he doesn't know what's going on. The people that were down on the streets camping out, they, those were the people that were protesting the banks. Remember? O Obama's people? The Treasury Department that gave him the bailouts never protested the Republicans or the Democrats yeah. who signed on to the bailouts, but that, that's what the Tea Party's about. Went on to do all sorts of political uh, fights against President Obama, sponsored by giant health insurance companies and oil companies, etc. But what in the world is do, do they have to do with the Ebony cover and Trayvon Martin? I thought you guys didn't care about race. What happened? I know, it's kind of amazing because... I I honestly don't pay attention to what goes on in magazines that I don't read because I don't care. No, ain't nobody got time for that, right? Let's keep it <laughs> real. Ironic. Right? And, and so it's kind of amazing that the Tea Party took it upon themselves to boycott this magazine that they don't even read in the first place. I mean, it's literally the equivalent of an avid Fox News viewer saying that they're going to boycott the Young Turks. Have at it. <laughs> Have well, I think it's interesting myself because... If you look at this picture here in the frame, you can see that they're they're not honoring Trevon. What they're saying in this picture is, in your face, America, in your face, white America, and we will dress like this, and we will be Trevon. So who is Trevon? Trevon is that guy that beat the shit out of George. Remember the one that got killed legally under the law? That's the guy. So what you're teaching these little kids that you got hanging on your back there, whatever your name is, Dwayne Wade, are, you know, are you serious? You're going to teach your kids to die like Trevon and then get no justice because you feel that you sh that your kid can go out, dress like this, go around, sneaking around houses, and then beat the crap out of the guy who's supposed to be watching out for the neighborhood. That's what you're teaching them. Be Trevon. Okay, you want to be Trevon? Well, there's plenty of room down there. You want to keep him company? Go for it. Fun. <laughs> and by the way, I mean, the covers are, how do you get offended by the cover? They're basically saying we are Trevon. That's the point. What are, why are you glorifying a criminal? And they're now they're going to tell us, oh, he's not a criminal. He's He was just walking through the 
park like a little boy and some bad man shot him. But Trayvon was murdered. Or Okay, so let's say he got killed. You don't agree that he was murdered and that they were in a... Oh, you don't agree that he was murdered. Well, neither did the jury. So under the law, he wasn't murdered. <laughs> it's a good thing you straighten that up because, you know, it's not a good thing to call people names that they aren't. Fight. But so they feel bad for Trayvon. It's amazing. What, what? It, it's amazing <laughs> that people, the protest. people went out of their way to demonize someone who was 17 years old and who cannot defend himself. He's dead. He's gone. Even if you don't believe that, uh, you know, George Zimmerman should have been found guilty of manslaughter, even if you agreed with the verdict, why are you going out of your way to add insult to injury? And, and, and Because we're trying to help the community so that that community that is suffering such a loss doesn't suffer it again it's almost like they're they're thumbing their nose they're saying we're going to continue doing this we're going to beat the shit out of whoever follows us and if you try to shoot us for it well then we're going to do this again well go ahead you know but guess what george is free and trevon's dead if this is what you want to teach your kids go ahead so i guess what they're saying is not only was Zimmerman not guilty, but Trayvon was guilty. He's the one. That's what the jury said. Right. Now you're getting it. Holy cow. Look at his face. He's like, wow. It's, it's like an epiphany. I can't believe that I just figured something out. George was not guilty. Right. And Trayvon was. Now you get it. See, that's the thing. If Trayvon had not attacked George, then George would not have had any right to shoot Trevon. You see how simple that is? That attacked poor George Zimmerman and got himself shot in the chest. Uh, and and they really, I think they really believe that. I mean, I've seen people online when we do the videos, etc. I mean, they're like, oh, this Trayvon thug came and attacked poor George Zimmerman. Out of ah, they're talking about us. Hey, how you doing? Don't worry. Out of nowhere, how could you possibly believe that? But they do. So the point that if you say, oh, poor Trayvon Martin, who was killed as a 17-year-old. That's it, I'm protesting, right? And the reality is, of course, they've actually added subscribers to Ebony. You know why? I know that for a fact. Because J.R. Jackson, after seeing this story, literally subscribed, got a year subscription to Ebony, just to <laughs> counter-protest the Tea Party. So no Sweet, so they got a whole one extra person. I wonder how many they lost. I'm sure he's got those stats, and he's going to share them with us. Hold on. The number of Tea Party protesters that were already subscribing to Ebony is beyond less than zero. I mean, they're, they're kidding around, but they're not kidding. I can't imagine a George Zimmerman fan, Tea Party guy, who was subscribing to Ebony. Well, you know, the truth is, we are not saying that we're not going to buy that magazine. We're saying that we're going to get a copy and we're going to go through it and make sure that every one of those advertisers know that we are going to go out of our way to avoid them. And that means if they don't, if we can't find the product that that company makes somewhere else, we'll just live without it. See, that's where the power is. It has nothing to do with what Ebony thinks at all. And they'll find that out. And, and, and then finally, the Tea Party's like, you know, I can't believe that they say we're about race and that we're racist and that we're against black people. Where in the world would they get that idea? You see, this is the point I've been trying to make. If we want to talk about race, we should talk about race. But you see, what he wants to do is he wants to say that because the Tea Party disagrees with the Ebony magazine on this topic, that, that the fact is that what they're showing, is they're trying to glorify the thug mentality here wear these thug clothes pull your down your pants down look the way you want and and then if somebody follows you beat the living shit out of them and if they if there's a problem don't worry because the entire black community will come to your aid whether you're right or wrong just because you think george zimmerman should have been acquitted doesn't make you a racist but you go out of your way to protest ebony just for saying we are trayvon you got some racial issues dude well, I would, I would argue exactly the opposite. If you, as a person who is constantly on the, on the video here telling us 
the way we should think is out here worrying about what the Tea Party's doing. Apparently, you got issues with it. And you've got issues with race because you're saying that, oh, well, you know, the fact that that George murdered, oops, I mean, you know, of course, you might think that, you know, come on, buddy, get real. You're calling George a murderer? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, the issue of race is that Trevon was black and George was not. That's the only issue other than the what you make it. You and all the rest of the race baiters, because that's where your money comes from. That's where your views come from. You know you would have no views or any support out there if it weren't for the fact that you've got these people, I don't want to say the word, let's go ahead and use it, ignorant people that don't know the information, similar to yourself, they haven't followed the case, and so now they need to come and watch you and it makes them feel good because they're you're justifying their thoughts and their feelings and so they're going to go about their business and they're going to be Trevon and some of them are going to go out and beat somebody up and get shot and killed and I hope that when that that day happens I hope you realize that you're taking part in that Sink, you are no one else you and your little show so you know, if you if that's what you want to do, you go right ahead. I'm out. Good talking to you guys. Talk to you later.